guys welcome back to my channel i'm really excited to be filming today's video because we are going to be doing quarterly beauty empties i do not talk about makeup empties in my beauty empties videos i do talk about my makeup empties in my makeup rehab series so if you're interested interested in makeup empties i'll leave my makeup rehab series link down below but today we have all other things beauty so we have skincare sun care hair care body care all the things so if you're interested mouth care <laughs> oral care um, if you are interested in the products that i have finished up in the last three months stay tuned for if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video okay you guys there is like quite the hodgepodge of products here i think first i'm going to start with my one and only oral care product and normally i don't share like what mouthwash i'm using but i did want to shout this one out because i have recently discovered this and i've gone through <laughs> probably like two or three of these within the last i'm like trying to think if i had gone through one of these before my last updates but didn't save it but i've gone through many of these now it's the thera breath dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse um and this one specifically is in invigorating icy mint right now i have the purple or not purple the pink bottle and i really like that one as well i like this because i truly do feel like this makes a difference in making my mouth feel cleaner my breath smell better but it doesn't have like the painful like minty but painful sensation that you get from like listerine and things like that and i just freaking love this so much i feel like this helps i get really bad dry mouth sometimes too and i feel like this helps significantly with that so i wanted to shout this out i'll link it down below i normally get mine from target but you can also order it from amazon and things like that so i highly recommend that and then i saved this and i was like do i want to say this or do i not um this is the sun bum 70 premium moisturizing sunscreen spray i absolutely loved this although i will say it was smelled very very chemically but i did not burn at all this summer while using this um and i was outside quite a bit and granted i was reapplying this like a freak my mom was like i remember being home one weekend and i was like spraying myself and my mom was like wow things have changed you're literally putting sunscreen on every 30 minutes but like back in the day i would make her take me to target and buy me baby oil to like put oil on and try and like burn and tan she was like it's just funny how things change and i'm like i am so disgusted to think about the things that i put my skin through when i was younger like i'm thinking like back in college i would walk by literally i would walk to class and we lived by a tanning salon and i had like an, an unlimited pass and every freaking day i would go tan for the the max amount of time in a tanning bed like that thought just <laughs> <laughs> okay guys what else um speaking of tanning now i'm just on the self tan train to like save my skin can you see all these wrinkles can you see all the skin damage that i've done to myself that i put my skin through i'm sorry skin um the bally body self tanning mousse is ooh, is it my favorite or do i still love isle of paradise self tanning water the best isle of paradise i love because it is water so it's it doesn't have a color guard less messy things like that but i do feel like the bally body lasts longer and is less like patchy as it comes off the skin so i like i like both they're both my favorite but i've gone through multiple tubes of this or multiple bottles of this multiple bottles of isle of paradise i like the dark as opposed to ultra dark because i feel like this does look more natural on me and i need to like come to the realization that i don't need to be ultra dark right now i'm like i'm just pale and a little bit of red because i ran out of this and my other sunscreen i didn't reapply as much the last weekend of summer so whoopsies okay you guys um what else do we have i have these so my sister gave me a bunch of these they're from pure soma they are the beyond the body rituals um bath treatments and it's like a clay detox in the bath which i love me a bath i literally take a bath just about every single night i am actually trying to change up that routine because i have such dry skin 
and it like pains me because my bath is like my relaxation but i'm trying to like shower more and take a few less baths like we're still at least taking three baths a week but trying to like cut it back just a little bit because i take the hottest like scalding hot bath and then i wonder why i have like itchy dry flaky skin anyway these two um so I, there's a resurrection and a hot tub cold and flu symptom relief i don't necessarily know that this actually offers cold and flu symptom relief i do enjoy these but the one thing i will say is they <laughs> Like when I drain my bath for the night, there's still a bunch of like sand and clay in the bath. Like it literally looks like a sandbar basically. And it it's messy. It's messy. I still have a few of these left. I wouldn't like go out and pursue purchasing these again, but it's nice on the days that I'm like, you know what? I want to treat myself like a little bit. I want to make it feel like an at-home spa. I'll toss this in the bath and they're nice. Speaking of baths, I obviously have a lot of bath soap body wash because I like a bubbly bath i actually only have three this time which actually feels better than normal so recently i've gotten back into the method body wash um this one is the cucumber seaweed and green tea currently i have the rose one and i really really like that one too i like this one it's a daily zen because i like like a zen feeling when i take my bath so i'd probably choose this over the rose but i like the rose for just like a shower body wash because it gives a rosy scent i do really like the method body washes i think they're really nice they're plant based plant-based cleansers um and i do think they're a good value too they last me a decent amount of time i finished off my last plant up, up i can never say this word up apothe apotherky apothecary apotherky whatever the aromic body wash this was the citrus and frankenese i don't know if you can get these anymore these were sent to me last year by the brand and last time I tried and linked these, I found them at, why can't I think of it? I, uh, oh my gosh, why can't, um, Anthropology. I'm like, I'm, it starts with an A. Uh, I found them at Anthropology. I don't know if you can get these on Amazon. I'm honestly not sure. If I can find these, I will link these because this is my favorite body wash I've literally ever used. The pink version, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a funny name, was my favorite. There's, I think, two different sets of two i and i've tried all four total body wash love them they last so long suds up so nice um just a great body wash in my opinion it smells so good they're a little bit pricey but i think worth it and i'm curious if i can find these because i would purchase them again i would definitely purchase them again let's see what we've got for oh there's quite a bit of hair care actually okay so let's go for this next this is my tree hut tropic glow moisturizing shave oil i loved this typically i'll just like put soap on my legs and shave but i instantly went out and repurchased i repurchased the coconut lime scent next because i love that scrub so i was like i'm gonna try the coconut lime shave oil this is so so nice it feels so moisturizing on the legs um and it just which i need because i have again dry flaky crusty legs i loved this so so much i love tree hut as a brand and if you are looking for a nice shaving product that is going to moisturize while you shave i highly recommend the shave oil um as i said i already have another one in my shower and then speaking of tree hut i have two of their shea sugar scrubs so i have the coconut lime as i mentioned i also have a coconut lime currently opened in my bathroom i love the tree hut scrubs because they are so affordable they are pretty i don't want to say like aggressive but they are larger like granules they do a really nice job of exfoliating which i'm trying to get into like exfoliating more every day now that i'm like trying to take more showers as well <laughs> um and i just i've really enjoyed them i also got bikini reef i have so many tree hut scrubs back stocked right now because ulta is doing 10 times points on tree hut one day and i was like oh yeah i'm getting my tree huts back stocked and i'm getting all the 10 times points but bikini reef was okay I wouldn't purchase this scent again it wasn't my favorite i do love the coconut lime is probably my favorite i do want to try the cotton candy i have that currently in my back stock and i feel like that was lauren may beauty's favorite scent so i'm excited to try the cotton candy but highly recommend the tree hut scrubs i finished up a nail polish remover i personally love the cutex nourishing fast acting enriched formula i just get this at target it's really nice it takes my nail polish off in a gif and it doesn't do anything weird to like my nails or my cuticles here is another i have another one of the pure soma beyond the body 
clay bags this one again is the resurrection one i didn't necessarily feel like this made me like super energized it just gave like a spa like vibe to the bath okay we have quite a bit of hair care let's go through it i always save these like hair care packets but then i'm like i could never remember like what i actually liked versus didn't like so i have the dry bar cure liqueur i don't think i like love this i want to say it smell can't really smell it because i have the candle leaves burning right now from bath and body works i think i really enjoyed the smell of this but it wasn't something that i was like oh i need to go add this to my wish list I also have the Madison Reed shampoo and conditioner. I recently dyed my hair. I use the Madison Reed hair dyeing kits. I absolutely love them. I know they're a little bit more pricey, but they are my favorite hair dye, like home hair dye formula I've ever used. I think I used 3.5 NN for the shade that I, or for the color I have right now. I recently, recently dyed my hair, so I'm really happy with that. I've been using Madison Reed. I used them maybe a year or two ago. And I liked it, but then I was like, ooh, they had sent me a hair dyeing kit. And then I was like, this is expensive though. So then I took like a break from, and I didn't dye my hair that much in 2022. I had like way too much personal life drama going on that I was like, I just don't care. Uh, but I've gotten back into like dyeing my hair and I actually the other day cut my own hair. It still needs probably a little bit more taken off because it's still really dry, but I was really proud. It was the best haircut I've ever done for myself. And I've done quite a few haircuts for myself that didn't go well. And it's like, I'll decide spur of the moment. Like I feel like cutting my own hair right now. And then I'm like, this isn't gonna go well. And then I did, and then I did it the other day and I was like, I'm actually quite happy with this. And I recently dyed my hair. So um, I've been dyeing my hair all year with the Madison Reed, Reed hair dye. And I just love it. I love the shade selection that they have. And I usually have to buy two to three kits at a time, no matter what brand I'm using, which is another reason I'm like, Ugh, it's expensive but I really love them. it's my favorite you can get them at Ulta Beauty I typically just order mine from Amazon I'll leave them linked below in case you guys are interested in checking out their shade range um I just highly recommend Madison Reed I also have the Innocence daily conditioner I literally don't remember using this at all don't remember anything about it I have the Cara Cara is it Cara Cara Stase? Kerastase. I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but I love their hair oil. Hair oil. It's the hair oil I'm currently using. Love it. Um, this is their Genesis Hydra formula for shampoo and conditioner. I actually really liked this. I think I liked the scent of this as well, and I did feel that this was really hydrating. I'm pretty sure this brand is pretty expensive. And I have so many like just shampoo and conditioners I'm currently trying to get through. Although I did just order the big gallon size of the Verb conditioner. But this is something I'm gonna put on my wish list because I would consider purchasing this. I do really like the brand. Like I said, I love their hair oil. I'm currently using that. And I felt like this was really nice and hydrating, which is really what I'm looking for out of my conditioner specifically. Um, so I did enjoy that. I did use up two of these Beauty Bio Bright Eye Eye Gels. Occasionally I like an eye gel from time to time. I feel like I'm getting older. I need some Botox. I like really do need some Botox. My goal is to get <laughs> some Botox in my forehead by the end of the year. Where I work, um, where I work, Botox is done from time to time and I just like haven't bit the bullet to do it, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing a little Botox in the forehead and if I could like raise my eyebrows a little bit, I would also do that. Okay, you guys, let's chat next about, oh, I have quite a bit of, oh, no, I still have some more, who am I? Who am I? I set these things out in front of me, and I didn't talk about them, so I have one more shower gel. My camera battery is going to die. I knew I should have changed it out before I started filming. Also, my rash on my arm is itching so bad, so if you're, like, stuff, what the heck are you doing? Um, the Ahava Mineral Shower Gel. This, I love the Ahava like lotion, the sea salt like lotion. It smells so good. I thought this was going to be the same and it like barely gave off any sort of like scent, which you may love, but I was like, Ooh, I want that scent. So I didn't like, this wasn't a favorite. I'm not going to go out and purchase this again. Um, but I did finish that up. It said stuff nice. Like it was a good soap, a good body wash, but in terms of like a bubble bath experience with like a good aroma, it didn't offer much. Okay. If I've moved a bit, it's because I had to switch my camera battery out. Let's chat more about hair care. I have, I go through conditioner much more quickly than I go through shampoo. I hope I'm not alone in that, but I did use up the Pureology condition, the Strength Cure Conditioner. 
so ulta accidentally included the shampoo and conditioner in one of my orders with them and said that i could keep the products so i actually have really enjoyed this line i still have the shampoo that i'm working my way through i like the scent of this and i do feel like it did make my hair feel like nice smooth and conditioned hydrated um so I'm fairly comfortable this is a little bit more expensive. It says this is for damaged color treated hair. I would consider purchasing it, especially if I could get this on sale. I've actually really enjoyed this. So I'm glad that I got to try that. And then I did finish up one of the Biolage Ultra Hydra Source Conditioning Balms. I still have another one of these currently in my collection. I love this one from Biolage. I love the scent of Biolage. It reminds me of the hair salon I used to get my hair cut at when I was like much, much younger. I have like a scent memory tied to this so it just like brings me back i do find this to be really hydrating for my hair as well and i really enjoy um this line from biolage i've continually repurchased it so highly recommend that and then the last couple of hair products i have left i have this perfect texture wave cream from nature lab tokyo I wasn't a huge fan of this. I felt like this was way too liquidy. Like when you opened this, the product would literally drip out without even squeezing. So I didn't love this. I do feel like it did a decent job of like when I would put this in my hair, then French braid my hair overnight and take it out, holding my wave throughout the day, but not as good as the IGK Rich Kid like texture curl cream. Um, I recently repurchased that because that was my go-to last year. Then I wanted to try something different and this just didn't turn into a favorite of mine. So I wouldn't repurchase that and I really wouldn't recommend that one either. And then I also finished up the Amika Hydra Rush Intense Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner little pack here. I do love Amika's brand. I love the scent of their product products. I really enjoyed this sample pack because I do love a hydrating formula and I felt like this was really nice and hydrating. So I would consider purchasing either this shampoo and conditioner or the Amika. I think they have like a deep conditioning mask and I think that is what I would actually purchase. I love me a deep conditioning mask just because I have such dry hair and it's really thick too. So, um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed using that. I don't have a ton to say about that. And then we just have some skincare to finish it off with, except for, Oh, it looks like I have one scent bird, scent bird fragrance. This was La Vanilla Vanilla Coconut. Um, I don't know what brand is La Vanilla the brand. I remember not like loving this. This was giving, <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad and this is not meant as offensive, but I used to have a friend way back in elementary school and her parents like smoked in the house, in the car. And anytime we would drive somewhere in their car, it would smell like cigarettes and like the vanilla car freshener. And that is what I felt like this smelled like. And so I was like, mm, not a huge fan of that. Like just not a huge fan. Um, I do also have this, which I have been using for three to four to five months at this point in time. It's just a real technique sponge. This came in a pack with like a larger bright neon yellow sponge, which I loved. I do really like the real technique sponges, but I just thought I would share that quickly. The few skincare products that I used up. So from in beauty, I have the 10 plus 10 moisturizer. Moisturizer is what it says more dash sterizer i literally do not remember using this like at all <coughs> so i couldn't tell you whether it's good or bad um what i can tell you i really did not enjoy unfortunately was the peach pudding makeup cleanser from peach slices i have loved every other product that i've tried from peach slices but unfortunately this just didn't work for me I don't know if you'll be able to see like the remnants at the very bottom. This was almost like a, it looked like a lotion, but it was like a first step in a makeup cleansing routine. And I just, I didn't love it. I didn't feel like it did a good job of like breaking my makeup down or like taking away like that first layer of makeup as you're starting your skincare routine. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of this. This is not something I would repurchase. A first step makeup cleansing balm I loved and absolutely do plan to repurchase when I get through some of the other ones that are in my collection is the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this. I love that it was in a tube like this because rather than it being in a jar where I have to like stick my dirty, dirty fingers, especially being like a step one cleanser, if I have to stick back in, it's like, it gets so dirty. 
this i could literally just like squeeze onto my face like this it was so nice this did such an incredible job of breaking my makeup down this felt hydrating as i cleansed my skin and i was just such a fan of this one from paula's choice i can't remember if i ordered this one off of amazon or off of sephora but i 100 will be purchasing this one again i'll link this one down below because i love that one so much if you guys are interested and then i just have moisturizers and an uh yeah moisturizers to finish it off with so i have two minis i have the tatcha dewy skin cream i love this it's one of my favorite moisturizers of all time it's such a nice moisturizer i like to use it at night it gives this really beautiful dewy glow but it's so moisturizing that i don't feel like i can use it in the morning because it takes a while for it to like set into the skin but i love this one at night i always have a tatcha dewy skin cream on hand um, and then I have the Biosense Squalene Omega Repair Cream, which I also really love. I love the Biosense line. I will say their moisturizer is, like, I if I had it in my collection because I got it as, like, free gift with purchase or I got it in, like, a set, I would use it. And it does feel really, really moisturizing on the skin. But it wouldn't be my first moisturizer that I would go out and purchase for myself as a moisturizer just because I have my, my favorites, like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Um, and so many others in my collection that I do prefer over this one, but I love the Biosance Rose Oil. I love their eye cream. There's so many other products I do love from Biosance. So I did finish off that little mini and the final two products I have to talk about, right? Oh, I did miss this one, which is, this is one of my favorite products of all time. Elemis has such a good, their marine line smells so good. I have this travel size of the Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. I have so many other cleansers in my collection, but I wish Elemis wasn't so expensive because I would definitely purchase this again and their entire line. Their moisturizer, their marine moisturizer is so, so good. I will own that again, but I have so many other moisturizers currently in my collection. I just cannot justify it, especially at that price purchasing right now. But Elemis is definitely a favorite skincare brand of mine. And if you've had your eye on anything, highly recommend it all. The final two products I have to talk about. Let's talk about this one first. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. I ended up using this as a body moisturizer because this was just too thick on my face. And I have pretty dry skin, so I'm like, I just did not love this on the face. It's not something I personally would go out and repurchase. I believe e.l.f. Elf actually did send this to me. Um, it wasn't a favorite of mine. I know so many people love this one. I personally just thought it was too thick on the face and then the final product i have is the saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream i've actually gone through multiple jars of this and i really like this one especially in the summertime it's a really nice lightweight yet ultra moisturizing gel moisturizer so it's super thin and gel like on the skin it feels so moisturizing, but it sets in and like sinks into the skin so quickly. I really like this one. This is something I definitely would consider purchasing again next like spring summertime, just because I feel like it's the perfect time of year for like a gel moisturizer in the morning. Highly recommend this one if you guys have had your eye on it or if you haven't tried it and you love a gel moisturizer that still is like pretty moisturizing, this is a good one. After that, you guys, it is time to clean this bin out because there is definitely goop at the bottom it's looking like there's a little bit of kinetic sand at the bottom can you see that pink sand right there like where my hand is um it's time to rinse this out but that is going to wrap it up for my quarterly beauty empties i would love to know what were your top two favorite products and least favorite products that you've emptied out in the last few months. Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, thanks so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I appreciate it and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.